everyone, and welcome to an episode of the Jonah Keen Show on Radio DePaul. Welcome one and welcome all. For those who are tuning in for the very first time, you may be curious as to what the Jonah Keen Show is all about. Well, I'll tell you. Ever since I was a teenager, I've had an absolute passion for giving advice. Some kids did sports, some kids did theater, some kids did math club, but I did advice. In fact, I've been a certified advice giver for almost 10 years now. Good job, me. On The Jonah Keen Show, I'll be interviewing folks who have a wide range of expertise and advice to share. Also on the show, there will be some opportunities to call into the station and ask for your own personalized advice. Maybe you need some relationship advice. What about pet advice? Maybe you need some financial advice. Maybe you just need some good old-fashioned self-help advice. We take all kinds of requests for advice. My name is Jonah, Mr. Advice King, and welcome to the Jonah Keen Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Jonah Keen Podcast. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope all the listeners are doing fantastic because I sure am. I've had a hell of a week. A lot has been going down. A lot has been happening, and I'm really happy about it, um, which is great because last week I had to talk with my wife and the marriage was it's, it's been a disaster. So luckily, we're not talking about that anymore. We are happy, the sun has risen once again, and we are all smiling ear to ear. Okay, Um, I got some news to share. Um, We have officially launched the Jonah Keen Podcast YouTube channel. You can now look up the Jonah Keen Podcast on YouTube, and you can access all the previous shows. You can see my other podcast, which I did before this, which has a lot of awesome moments in and also i'll be uploading clips of not just this podcast but when i guest on other podcasts because that is happening um it's been happening i've been getting a lot of attention and it's been pretty amazing um and also you'll be able to watch all the previous episodes of this show um and you'll be able to catch up on stuff like the 50 states of advice i did advice for all 50 states in the united states of america alphabetically it was a successful series i received a lot of letters saying that it was a complete success uh, i talked to my father terry Keane on the first episode i talked to michael hamilton twice um once on the second episode once on the third or fourth i i get my numbers mixed up uh we also talked to chris scully uh, i believe that was the last week Um, And then we also talked to Sean J. Trout twice as well, um, the Oklahoma expert. Um, And so pretty much it's been a very successful show so far. And it just things are looking up. And I've just been I've never been more optimistic in my entire life because I've really come out of a pit, which was my divorce and Jenna taking the kids from me. And it's really it's just I, I just, uh, I'm coming back, okay? It's a positive lifestyle. I'm coming back. I'm breaking free from these chains that divorce shackled me to, and I am free at last. And today, I have a very, very important, very special guest, probably the biggest guest I've ever had on the Jonah Keen show so far. I have the number one gamer at DePaul University. It's true. It's true. That is, um, at least that's what he told me. Um, And in fact, I'm going to be giving a lot of advice today all about video games. It's something I've never really covered before, something I've never really talked about before on the show, but we are going to be discussing all things video games with um, this, uh, the number one DePaul gamer, Zane Baker. Um, And he should be on here in a second or so, but I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. It has been an absolute blast being able to have the show every week, Thursday, 3.30 to 4. And um, after we talk to Zane Baker, I will be accepting some callers. So um, get your phones ready. I will reveal the phone number once we have finished talking to Zane Baker, hopefully. Okay. Zane, Zane, are you there? Zane? 
Okay, we are now here with Zane Baker, who is going to give us some expert advice on video games, Twitch streaming, esports, and the like. How are you doing today, Zane? Yeah, I'm doing I but like for real. Hold on, give me one sec. Mom, hold on. Please. Thank you. I so uh yeah, my name is Zane, but actually on the real you can call me uh Toxic Reaper 04. Like that's what I got on my mind, so you can call me that. Toxic Reaper 04, is that what you just said? Yeah. That's okay. uh to spread awareness like toxicity in chat. Like I don't stand for that at all. Like it just drives me insane. Just, you know, I, 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 like, yeah, it's just about awareness. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. I see. Um, well, do you want to talk about kind of your expertise and your uh, your credentials for gaming advice? Like, what's your experience and all that? Yeah. So I've been on the uh, DePaul esports team for about two months now. But prior to that, when I was a high school athlete, I was uh, here at Zionsville. I was, that was a high school I went to. We had an esports team. And I I mostly was like our like our top guy at Call of Duty. So that's kind of where my uh, where I really am like the best starter for us is Call of Duty. Uh, oh, so you're the starter for Call of Duty. Um, yeah, at DePaul. Okay, are you also like the captain, or is there a captain? I don't really understand esports. I'm more of a advice head than a video game guy. So that's where like it really gets convoluted and, and this stuff because like they tell me, oh, toxic, you, toxic, you can't be a captain because you're fresh. But it's like, why not? You know, like straight up, like I'll be straight up with you right now. Like I joined this to make an impact on the DePaul esports team, you know, and they aim to let me be a captain just because I'm a freshman. That's a, yeah. So that's where we're at with that one. I'm a starter, but not a captain because they don't allow it because some stupid senior wants to. And I could go on for hours about this, but let's just move on. Okay, it's, I'm sorry. Um, so I understand you also stream, Twitch stream, when you're not practicing at the eSports zone in DePaul. Um, what is it like streaming to dozens of fans? How do you stream? I've been actually curious about this. How do you play video games and give advice um because i can only talk and give advice how can you do two things at once it's very um it seems very complicated to me at least yeah that's a great question you know and like it, it, there's some difficulties in it because you know i'm trying to worry about getting my uh my jet like my my, my personal jet you know and at the same time i got people in the chat asking me like oh what do you think is the best skin for this gun and like you know, bro, I cannot worry about that right now. Like, I'm trying to keep alive my team playing Search and Destroy. Like, like that's uh, that really drives me at the wall. I totally get that. That makes a ton of sense. Um, you mentioned the, the guns in Call of Duty. I understand it's a war-type game. Um, uh, yeah, it could be classified as such. In fact, I actually... I, before doing this interview with you, I last night I downloaded Call of Duty and I tried it myself. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, I, that's, that's that's pretty cool. For real, it, it is. I wanted to know more about the game before I interviewed you, and I have a few questions regarding the game. Um, for example, what's the best gun? What's the best gun in Call of Duty? I have no idea um, what gun to use. I was struggling a bit with the SMGs and the LMGs and the machine guns and the sniper rifles and the pistols and the shotguns and i just i i really have no idea what i'm doing so i really need some advice when it comes to the best gun in call of duty yeah best gun you know that's such a deeply layered question it's like a croissant like it's just so flaky and deep like there's so many different layers i go into that like like you mentioned, you know, like, do I want to go with the pistol outlook or do I want to go with the sniper build? And really, I don't have a good answer for that because so many other people have just different play styles. And I like me personally being a captain, I love taking charts. Like I love being the first one in there and just like killing everyone. And so for that, I, I use a variety of different guns, mostly the MP7 with a few different modifications on, but like, yeah, it's a pretty good starter gun. So I say, like, 
for a general build, the, the MP7 would be like a good starter gun for someone who doesn't really know anything like yourself. Right. Okay. Well, that's some. I'll I'll write that down. MP7. Okay. Wonderful. Another question I had. I was in the middle of a uh, online mul- multiplayer match. Uh, and- Jonah, just one sec. Again, don't call me Zane. It's Toxic Reaper. Sorry, Toxic Reaper 04. Um, I have another question. Um, okay, shoot, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was in the middle of an online multiplayer game uh, the uh, last night when I was still trying to learn. Um, and at that very moment, someone was knocking at my door. And so I had to get up and I had to pause the game, but I had I couldn't find the button to pause Call of Duty. What button do you use to, co- to pause the game? Because I couldn't find it. Um, I was playing on PS4. Uh, PlayStation 4. You're asking me what button is to pause the game? Yeah, I couldn't find it. I had to just... I couldn't answer the door, and in fact, I just yelled at them, Sorry, I can't take this right now. Um, So I couldn't answer the door, because I couldn't figure out the pause button. Nah, bro, you cap, and you ain't asking me that. You you for real ain't cap asking me that. That's cap. Bro. No way. You have me, the soon-to-be captain of the DePaul esports team, Call of Duty. I, I'm going to be a captain, and that's what you ask me. This is such a rare opportunity to start asking like, like the real stuff, and you're asking me how to pause a freaking video game, bro. You need to get your priorities straight. I Next will. Question, it's please. a. But what button is it? I was. I'm Use just... your freaking manual. Like before we play any video game, you need to be reading the user's manual that comes in the cover. You need to be using that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're bro, right. Don't You're be right. sorry, this... bro. Just take advantage of the opportunity you have right now. Seize the day. That's what my squad says. Let's get out to the practice range. Seize the day, guys. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, you were you talked about your team for a second. How do you find good teammates so you can take on all the bad guys in Call of Duty? Um, how do you find the best players to play alongside? Well, obviously, because you know, you just you set him up. You just but it's a little bit different here. Is like the esports team, the professional, because we're isolated, just like one group of students. You feel? Yeah. So it's like. You know, I I can only pick so much, right? Right. So, you know, to answer your question, that's that's another deeply convoluted answer. You know, like, are you asking about online purely or are you talking about esports? Because there's two very different processes. Let's talk talk about esports because that um, is what I'm interested in. um, Because, in fact, I saw recently that there was the Call of Duty esports team that's also kind of why I decided to buy Call of Duty and maybe perhaps join the team and I could be one of your teammates in Call of Duty in the game. Um, uh, well, would that be cool? You know, we do have a process. Hold on, excuse me. Okay, sorry. Uh, you know... Uh, the rules of the uh, the program, the esports team, and our league state that anyone who wants to, they can try out for a spot on the team. And so obviously I can't discriminate you against your age and your lack of experience, but you know, you have to go through the process that everyone else goes through. And I, well, well you said you were a freshman. You said you were a freshman, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm a freshman too. We need to stick together through this. And, both be on the same side here. Hey, bro, how and it could be you? really fun. Well, I'm 25, but I just moved here from um, Oklahoma City. Yeah, and you know, that is like low key embarrassing. Like, you're 25 and you're fresh. Oh, bro, it's because right no, I had two. Dude, no. Just, no. just next question, bro. <laughs> no, no, for the uh, next question. I, uh, <laughs> no. What? I'm. I had two kids before going to college, and I had a whole career set up. 
Yo, what's your name on a P is like divorced dad or something stupid like that, bro? <laughs> no, next question, man. You tripping, that's stupid. Like you twenty five, ain't laying on my team. Anyway, next question, bro. Um Okay. We're what, just gonna move your tongue, bro. We're just gonna move on to the next question. I Yeah, like I yeah. said, maybe I should be running this interview. Oh, I'm older than you, so... But yeah, both- that's not a compliment, bro. That's not a compliment. Uh, that sounds like the complaint. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> shut up, bro. Fuck. That question. Okay, fine. How do you prepare... <clears throat> I, uh, can you just respect me on my own radio show, please? You're, you're live. Hundreds of people are listening all over DePaul University and the world. The whole globe can tune in if they want to. It's on the internet. So anyone could listen. So um, how about you be respectful to the host? And our next question, our next question would be, how do you prepare for a night of Call of Duty? Do you buy any snacks? Do you buy some keyboard cleaner to clean your keyboard before you PC game? Well, what do you do? Do you pour some Mountain Dew, Doritos? I know that's... Um, something a lot of gamers like. So uh, what do you do to prepare? I got a question actually about that. Is this your job, bro? This is your job? Um. Well, at the moment, I don't really have a source of income at the moment. Um, but we're not talking about this. We're talking about how do you prepare for a night of Call of Duty? Not no, me. I only ask because... You do this professionally, bro. And that's the kind of question you ask me now. Like, how do I train? You ask me how I prepare. Bro, I think that's a good this question. Worst interview I've ever had. I, bro, this is. Hey. God, this hey. interview, bro. For hey. real. Why am I even. Like, bro, this is stupid. Like, bro. Stop. Oh You're you on make, the air. You're, I'm, the, I'm well aware, dude. The, your the, viewers are stupid as hell, too. The DePaul Dean is listening, probably. I don't I know mean, for sure. I, I don't. Bro, I do not care. For real, I do not care. Do not. You're terrible at your job, Jonah. So okay. I'm gonna ask my no. I'm gonna ask my own question here. No. How do I prepare for a big match? You no, know, I, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning the day before a match, and then I hit the shooting range for about four or five hours. Uh, just against bots, me and my teammates, we run plays, we practice, just like any other team, because we are a team. And uh, that's kinda how I prepare. But what about a night of Call of Duty when you're it's late at night and you're you want to do you want to buy some snacks? Like, shut up! It's not even a question. It is a question. It ends in a question mark, which makes it a question. No, next question. I answered a way better one. Next question. How did you start getting into Call of Duty? What was your uh, I was a kid who liked shooting things. I shot little rabbits with my baby gun, and I like that feeling. Next question, please. Well, how did you find Call of Duty from that? You, you're, you got to fill oh, in the blanks here. Most popular game on the market. Oh my god! Why did my coach even make me do this stupid thing, bro? It's like it's literally the most known well game in the world, bro. Stop asking me these. St- Whatever. I'm the host. You got to answer. I got into it because my mom bought it for me for Christmas one year, bro. Okay. That's how I found out. Does that answer your dumb question? Um, I guess it does, but you can't keep complaining about the show while you're on the show. It makes, did your mom, I know she gave you Call of Duty, but did she ever give you manners? Because you need some manners advice, and luckily you're you're in the right spot. You're because uh, I'm Mister Advice. Oh, well, was that some... Jonas? Sorry, I couldn't hear that over then. The, and the uh, patheticness in your voice. Want to try that one again, little guy? Zane, toxic reaper, bro. No, we're calling you. I'm calling you Zane because you are seriously okay, getting on my then. last. If you're not going to respect my wishes here, bro. I'm done. I'm done with the call. If you're not going to respect my wishes, okay, fine, 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 fine. I have more questions. Let's just move on and let's stop complaining about every single question I ask. Okay. Whatever. Just move on. Okay. Freaking annoying me. Move so, on. Be an what? Adult. 
what is your console of choice? Is it PlayStation? Is it Xbox? Is it PC gaming? What is your console? It, maybe it's the Wii or the Wii U. What console do you use to play uh, Call of Duty? I don't understand why that's even a question. You have to be using a PC. You have to use a PC. It's really no, it's in the rules. You have to be using a PC, bro. The rules? Yes, there's a rule book. You ever heard of a rule book, bro? It's like, it's, it has esports in the name for a reason. It's a sport. There are rules and stuff. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's a PC um, to answer you. It's PC. Okay, I understand. Um, thank you. Thank you, Zane, for being on the show. Um, <sighs> Sorry, what? Thank you, Zane, for being on the show. So I want to try that one again. Thank you, Zane, for being on the show. I think you got like mementos to use on them, bro. Like you ain't calling me Toxic Reaper. That's my. That's I told you up front. That is what I want to go by, and you cannot respect that. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting because I keep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep calling you Jonah because that's what you wanted to be called, Jonah. Well, you can call me Jonah, or you can call me Mister Advice. That's yeah, my I want to call my one thing. You can't even do that for me. Just stop, bro. Get off. You want me to call you Toxic? Okay, fine. Thank you, Toxic Reaper 04, for being on the show. We appreciate yeah, you. Thanks for having and me. And we wish you well at semifinals here at the Jonah Keen Show. Thanks for coming on. The semifinals of the Jonah Keen Show. You want to try that one again, buddy? Yeah, we're going to the semifinals for the uh, Division One esports tournament. So. Colleges all across the nation, you know, they're coming together to play some Call of Duty. And, you know, DePaul is, is ranked number four right now in the nation. So, yeah. Go Blue Demons. Yeah, for real. Thank you. All right. Thank you once again for coming on. And take care. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was not necessarily exactly how I wanted that to go. He was kind of... A I don't want to say this on the air, but I'm going to anyway. Don't. Hopefully I won't get in trouble. But that guy was kind of a jerk. That, he was not very respectful of me in my show. And um, anyways, that does not matter. Thank you, Zane, once again for being on the show. All right. Now is, um, is the time where we're going to be taking some callers. Now, there's only one. Actually, there's two rules. Rule number one, do not curse no language on the show please and thank you rule number two you must call in to ask for advice that is the only that is the second rule and you must follow these two rules or else i am hanging up immediately i do not want anyone to waste my time i am i have i'm a busy man and i don't have a lot of time okay if both of those rules apply to you this is the number to call in. While I'm waiting, um, I'm going to talk about Call of Duty because we just heard Zane Baker talk about Call of Duty. Um, and well, Call of Duty is kind of a first person shooter video game uh, franchise. And uh, I thought Zane was pretty um, resourceful um, when it came to the knowledge he gave. I would have appreciated some more advice. He was very sassy about kind of um, Call of Duty advice, and he, he seemed like he thought he was better than me. I don't know exactly why, maybe because of my age, but I all I really wanted to know was um, I just wanted to learn about Call of Duty and maybe get some Call of Duty advice. Okay, the phone's not ringing, so once again, let me remind you of the two rules and the phone number. Rule number one, no cursing. Rule number two, you must call in asking for advice. Oh, look at that. We have a caller. Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the John Keen Show. Hi. Um, I'm Mason, and I'm looking for advice. Hi, Mason. What kind of advice are you looking for? 
I need advice because I'm looking to uh, make a good impression at um, a party that I'm going to, and I need to make a good impression. Mm. I have been to many advice parties all around the globe, um, so I can definitely give you some advice. Um, I would always say have your business card ready. There, it's there's never a, uh, there's never an opportunity where you can't give your I, business card, and, and you will get you you'll get great business and uh, hopefully I, grow your I don't business have through a that. Business. What if I don't have a business? Um. Hmm. Well, I think there's your problem right there. You need a business to to have a business card, and then I'm a you can student. then you I'm can. Studying. I'm a student. I'm studying. You're studying. Yeah. Can I ask what your major is? Maybe that we can uh, figure out a business plan for you. Economics. Ec oh wow, economics, which I understand is about the economy. Um, you can maybe yeah. have a a business where you kind of study the economy. And you can have your own business card, Mason, and I think it would look really good in your Do wallet. Do I need a logo? Uh, I mean, mine just has my face on it, which is a very handsome face. You can see it on uh, Jonah.Keen on Instagram. So can I use that? Um, you can't use my face, but you can use your own face on your own business card. Um, but I appreciate you calling in. I appreciate... Hopefully that answered your question and gave you some uh, advice. I don't know. If... Yeah, that was perfect. All right, so I I'd... think I'll be able to make a good impression. Hopefully, at a party. it's exactly what I do at every party I go to, and everyone remembers me. And I'm, it's I'm very successful when it comes to parties. Everyone says this. I get letters and emails every day. So I appreciate you calling in, Mason. Hopefully you make some good impressions at some parties. And uh, thanks for calling in. I hope so, too, and I think it'll go well. All right, perfect. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Wow, what a kind uh, guy Mason was. Um, hopefully, he makes a good impression on a party um, because uh, he seemed like a nice guy. Um, okay, we might have time for one more caller. If you want to call in, the number, once again, 503 You no cursing. You must ask for advice. Anything else is, I won't say illegal, but it's it's against the rules, um, and it's illegal in my book. So, um, hate to break it to you. Um, I'm looking up Call of Duty right now because I I bought the game and I think Zane was a good guest, but he still didn't really give me any advice when it comes to Call of Duty. So I'm kind of doing my own research here trying to find some information on Call of Duty. Hopefully that will uh, that will help me out here. Hmm. Hmm. Call of Duty. War. Oh my goodness. Th these games are very violent. So um, here's some advice when it comes to Call of Duty. Um, oh! Sorry folks. Can't give you advice on Call of Duty. There's another caller coming in. Um, here we go. Hello, welcome to the Jonah Keen Show. Hi, I'm looking for advice. What are you looking for? What's your name? Mason. Mason, what are you, you're calling back in? No, I'm looking for advice to make a good impression at a party. I, did, were you listening to the show? Did you hear the other guest? Who called in? Okay, so here's what you need to do. Because I just answered this question and I spent a lot of my advice stamina coming up with a really good answer to a previous caller who asked pretty much the same thing. Okay. Um, so what, I, what I'm going to recommend you do is go to youtube.com slash the Jonah Keen podcast. And in maybe one day, this show will be um, uploaded to that YouTube channel and then you'll be able to listen in. And there's actually someone else named Mason who asked for the exact same advice. So it's... it's advice at a, a party, a first impression. Yes. It, the exact same question. I don't know if you're trying to prank me right now because I it's illegal and I can call the police on you if you're the same Mason. If you're the same Mason, 
I can call the police. My name is Mason. I know your name's Mason. And I'm looking for advice for making first I know you're, I know. I know you're making <laughs> well, I just told you. I, okay, here's my advice. When this show, when this show uploads, when this show uploads, listen in to the show. And, uh, how will that help me with the first impression at a party? Um, because I, I give the same piece of advice to you. Um, well, not you, to a different Mason who asked for the exact same question, pretty much. I don't, I don't believe that. Well, you should. So I'm hanging up okay. and it, and I will be calling, I will be calling the police on you for calling me again. Okay. Good riddance. I'm making a good impression at parties. You're in, you're making a horrible impression on me. You're making hor and I hope you rot in jail. I'm Mason, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> I hung up on that guy. Okay, I'm sorry. I lost my temper. I lost my nerve. Hopefully, um, uh, well, I apologize to all my fans. And in fact, you probably couldn't hear the call. Um because there were some technical difficulties, that second caller. Um, but pretty much the exact same thing happened. Um, another person called in whose name was Mason, and they asked for the exact same piece of advice. Um, so hopefully that, that straightens things up, and uh, I will make sure that man is arrested, hopefully. Um, but that is about all the time we have for today's show. Hopefully everyone's uh, soaked in all the advice. Hopefully you follow the YouTube channel, the Jonah Keen podcast on YouTube. You'll see some great stuff there. And uh, I think that will about do it for today's show. Hope everyone enjoyed and uh, take it easy, everyone. Good luck at school uh, and may all the advice that we just spoke, um, may it soak into your brain and hopefully you and uh, and you can share it with your friends and family. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.